<laughs> hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. You asked and you shall receive. I, I don't know what it is about Slay the Spire, but you guys seem to really enjoy this game. And I'm, I'm not even complaining. I mean, I, I enjoy the game. You guys enjoy the game. We get to enjoy the game together. That's what I like about making videos. I, like I said in the last video, made my way back to the boss of the second act somebody in the comments of one of my previous videos i can't remember if it was the i can't remember which one it was but somebody said that i should get rid of my uh strike and defend cards as i get more defense and like strike cards that are better than these because i really don't use these that often unless i have nothing else to use and i can use these but this time around i have a barrage plus deal six damage for each charged orb deal nine damage channel on frost Gain 13 block, retain your hand. Uh, I have a claw plus, you know how I feel about my claw cards. Uh, Tempest plus, channel X plus one, lightning exhaust. I still have no idea what the X is. I think it just uses up all of the orbs that you have, or all the uh, energy that you have. Echo form, the first card you play each turn is played twice. I have yet to use this because I keep forgetting that it costs three. And then I'll see it and I'll play some other card before that one and I'll go, no! These are all the cards I've got. I think I'm ready. These are all the relics I have, all the potions I've got. I feel like I am ready for the boss. We should be able to make our way to the third act. No problem. Oh, I'm nervous. Is this even the same guy? I don't even think that's the same enemy that I fought the last time. Okay, uh, double your energy exhaust. Get that. Deal seven damage. Deal deal six. And then Do I have that relic that doesn't let me uh I don't. I don't. Fuck! Okay. That's okay. No! Oh! He summons minions. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. One focus. One defense. They're gonna attack for a lot. Owie. Owie. Okay. I. I do not feel good about this anymore. Oh, what was that? What'd you just do? What the hell did you just do? Can we talk about that? Did he just steal my card? Okay. All right. Five, ten. See, I don't want to use my potions so early on because I feel like they could come in in good handy, especially this one. This one is from when I don't have any block cards in my hand and I don't have enough block. I'm, I know that I'm supposed to use my potions as quickly as possible, but I just, I can't find the reason to right now. Well, I think that's a pretty good reason to use it now. Okay, um, well, this is a lot of damage and he's got strength applied. So we might want to start using some shit. Oh my God. Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Upgrade all your all cards in your hand for the rest of the turn. Okay. All right. Gain one artifact. Should I use that now? What was the artifact that I got? Oh no. Ow! God, I'm so nervous. I'm nervous. The enemy is stunned. Okay. Okay. The enemy is stunned. Upgrade all your cards in your hand. Sweet. I like that. I like that. And then we'll just we'll just deal the 14 damage. <laughs> is he still stunned? Oh fuck. Never mind. 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 This is bad. This is bad. Shit. That's so bad. He is at 82. 82! 76 now. This is doable. This is so doable. Deal 15 damage, reduce his card's cost. Yes. I need that. I'm just gonna use this just because I have a relic that allows me to heal 5 HP every time I use a potion. 5 HP is not that much, but it more health than what I had before. Oh, this is doable! Please just give me a melter. Give me a melter and we will be fine. None of those are the cards that I need. Okay, he shouldn't hit me. I don't know what 16 times 2 is. I'm not very good at math, especially the big numbers. But he shouldn't hit me. Deal 4 damage for each channel lord. He's out of here! He's out of here! <laughs> Oh. 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 I was so scared the whole time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, discard any number of cards and draw that many. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. At the start of your turn, add a random power card into your hand. Gain four focus at the start of your turn. Lose one focus. I like this one. Oh! Gain energy at the start of your turn. Whenever you open a non-boss chest, op obtain a curse. Oh! Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer use rest at rest sites. Replace cracked core. Replaces cracked core if you end your turn with an empty orb slot. Channel one frost. Uh, I don't really want to replace the... I don't want to replace the cracked core. I like my lightning. The frost just gives me block, but... Is it really worth it? I also don't want to obtain a curse every time I open up a chest. That'll just deter me from the chest sites. But I need my rest, so I'm, I'm gonna take this one. Oh! Act 3, the beyond. <laughs> We made it out the hood, baby! No, like, literally, the city had thieves. We- the city literally had thieves. People were suggesting that I do at least one to two, two to three elite, uh, fights if I'm strong enough. And I feel like I am strong enough to take on at least one or two. I don't know about two to three. Three seems like a lot, because the elites are kind of scary. I'm looking at the paths right now. Somebody was also saying that the question mark rooms are a gamble, and they're not as good in the first act all right here's the plan we're gonna start here we're gonna work our way up this way and then i'm gonna take on this elite i'm gonna go to the merchant shop i'm gonna take on this enemy here we're gonna go to this chest question mark spot rest site elite rest site move from there at least i think that is my plan that's what i want to do right now lifelink if other enemies are still alive revive in two turns Okay, so I'm gonna wanna hit them all at the same time, is what you're saying. Uh. 
Okay. Interesting. They hit for so fucking much. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Dog! There's no reason why they need to be hitting for this much. I should be able to take them all out at the same time. No, 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 you're not regrowing. You're not gonna do that, because I said no. There we go. Got him! Fuck! Uh, let's see. Deal 4 damage if an enemy intends to attack. Apply weak. Gain 7 block next turn. I like that. I like that one. As you slowly make your way up the twisting pathways, you constantly find yourself losing your way as the walls and ground seem to inexplicably shift before your eyes. The constant whispering voices in the back of your head aren't helping things either. Passing by a structure you are certain you have previously seen, you start to question if you are going insane, or if the impossible geography of this place is starting to get to you. You need to change something and soon. That's what the voices say anyway. And why would they lie? Okay! I can either become cursed with writhe and heal 21 damage, I can lose not happening at all. Embrace Madness, receive two Madness, reduce the cost of a random card, and your hand is zero. Oh, but I lose 10 HP. Fuck! I'm gonna heal that 21 HP. One Writhe is not gonna hurt me. One Writhe won't hurt. So if you're wondering why you're seeing this, I also forgot to mention this. If you're wondering why you're seeing this, it's because I do have a relic called Wing Boots, and it allows me to ignore paths uh, when choosing the next room. So I have one use for this left because I used it on Act 2. I forgot that it was uh, a total of three uses. I thought that I could use it infinitely and then I got to the boss and I'm like, oh shit! Navigating through the beyond, you discover a glowing tesseract spinning and shifting gently in the air. You touch it, a sharp pain flows through you, followed by vivid flashes of a distant memory. Whose memories are these? Add one colorless card to your deck. Why would I not want this? Oh, but I can add two. Oh, oh. It's just five HP. Uh, put three random attacks from your draw pile into your hand. Gain 30 block. You cannot gain block from cards for two turns. Oh! Put a skill from your... Oh! Put a skill from your draw pile into your hand. Okay, I'm gonna take... Oh, oh, fuck me. I misunderstood the assignment. For some reason, I've played this game three times now. For some reason, I thought that because I was able to pick two cards, I was gonna be able to pick one, two, instead of whatever. At the end of three turns, deal 40 damage to all enemies. Shuffle your discard pile in your hand, draw one card. Shuffle three random attacks in your hand, they cost zero. These are so good! How do I pick just one? I gotta take the bomb. It's kind of risky because let's say that like I make it to the boss fight, right? I use this card. I then have to survive three turns in order to see that 40 damage. So it's a high risk, high reward card. Cause what if I, what if I just don't have any defense cards or what if they hit for really hard and I, nah. but the fact that these, the random attacks cost zero, oh, that's so good too. Okay, I'm gonna do the good old itty meeny miny mo. 
All right, deep breath is eliminated. I'm going with the bomb. Merchant Man! Hey! Okay, deal six damage if you have played less than four cards this turn. Draw one card. Deal nine damage to a random enemy twice. That's a good one. I think I had that in one of my previous runs. Oh, what are these potions? Draw three cards. Upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of the game. Or combat. Gain four plated armor. What's plated armor? What's the difference between... I mean, armor is good either way, but like... What the hell is plated armor? This Blessing of the Forge came in handy, though. I'd rather this than... Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Firstly, I'm gonna try to get rid of you. Because you're planning to attack me for quite a bit. Oh, come on! Get that out of here. Okay, so I need to... Shit. So, when attacked, deals 7 damage back. I'm obviously going to want to just use my orbs, because that's not actually physical attacking, that's just me, right? That'd be the smart move, right? Yeah, I like that plan. Yes! Oh, yeah! Take as little damage as possible, baby. Deal 12 damage, put the next card you play this turn on top of your draw pile. Oh. Okay. Yes. Uh, 71 to 82. Uh, but my rest spot. I'll take on the elite and see what happens. Oh, 183. I got this. Wound? Why? I did not even see you up there. Ooh. Oh. The bomb. The bomb. The bomb. Why couldn't you have used that second one on the god? Oh, he's just gonna keep spawning minions, isn't he? Fuck. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This will be fine. This is not fine. I'm gonna use that plated armor. I have no idea what that does. At the end of your turn, gain four block, receiving unblocking damage. But no, that's not what I thought it was gonna do at all. Damn it! That's a hefty attack. That is a hefty one. They keep giving me these fucking wound cards!
Okay, we should be able to take him out next turn. There we go, baby! There we go! Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck! Thank you! That was so sweet of you! A highly ornated tomb can be seen on the other side of a floating path. Upon reaching the tomb, you notice a slot for gold with a scratched out inscription above it. I don't have much gold, so I'm just gonna obtain a relic. What do I got? At the start of each combat, apply one week to all enemies. Thank you. Oh, come on. At the start of your turn, deal three damage to all enemies. Yo! Yo! Yo, these are good! <laughs> Please don't be an enemy. Shit. Now I gotta fight a boss. Or an elite, I should say. I don't like you! Ooh, that was a good one. What are you doing? Okay, negative effects. Okay. Ow! Why am I not hitting for anything? Reduce all damage taken and HP loss to one? No! What? I was like, why am I not dealing any damage? That shit's ass. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. It's applied every other turn? That felt kind of pointless. That was that was pointless. Yep, he's going to hit me for a lot. Okay, 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 okay. He's hitting for 42 or 45. And I have like little to no block. Oh, I have like little to no block. He's gonna have to die this next turn. Because if he doesn't, I will. What the hell is that? Wait, what the hell is that? I can't really do anything now. Okay, he's done. Oh, he's done. Whetstone, upon pickup, upgrade two random cards. Okay, cool. Choose one or three, one of three random skill cards to add to your hand, it costs zero. Oh my God. Rest, I need to rest. There's no question about that. Resting is essential right now. Uh, uh, I'm right handed, so I'm gonna go right. Ah, what is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> this game does not want to see me succeed, obviously. Come on, please give me my Melter, because there's no way. Thank you. There's no way. 
Uh, if you have no block, gain, gain 23 block. Yeah, that's the one I want. I need that. Well, this isn't gonna hold for much, but fuck. Why do you have to attack for so much, bro? Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. That's good. I brought his damage down. That's not good. That's not good either! Oh my goodness! I'm gonna have to kill you, like, now. Soon. And then... Go with that. And we should be able to take him. Oh! 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 Rest. 66 out of 82. Gain 9 block. Deal 10 damage. Deal 4 damage. Apply to vulnerable. I'm gonna take the block. Oh my god. I'm nervous! I'm nervous, y'all! I'm nervous! Oh! I'm nervous! Oh my god, I don't have any potions either. I don't have any potions either. So this could be a huge problem. We are off to a bad start already. Because he's gonna hit me for half of what he's gonna do. Shit! Oh my god. I'm done. I'm done for. I don't think there's any way out of this. There's no way out of this. Game over. Yep. <sighs> you know, I think I would have been fine avoiding the elites. I, I know you guys are recommending that I take on at least one to two elite fights, but I, I'm pretty sure I would have been fine if I... If I hadn't. I know it sounds like I'm blaming you for why I lost the boss fight. And I, I am, actually. 
I am playing with me. Ah! I don't want anybody to say that I do not love my people, okay? I don't want anybody to say that I don't love my audience because I went through all three acts just to get back to where I was so that we don't have a repeat of the last video. Cause I can't keep losing. I, I can't keep losing to the Spire. I'm him and I'm gonna live up to the name. Big Body Out is what I say at the end of all of my videos. And I'm going to live up to this. I have a bunch of these relics here. I've got potions this time. None that will really help me, but yeah, and my health is kind of low too. So it's, it's I'm, I'm kind of fucked, but I think I have some decent cards this time around. I don't know what the rules are for these guys, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna take out one and hope that hope that it'll do me some good. Not bad. It's these dazed cards though. The dazed cards, they keep getting stuck in my hand, and then I can't do anything. Okay, that's good. I put Melter at the top of my hand, so... Um... I'm gonna use... Fuck. Okay. Let me apply Vulnerable to you. Use the Melter. That doesn't help at all. Shit, I should've used a speed potion. What did the vulnerable do? Was the vulnerable even applied? Oh my goodness. This game is stressing me out, man. Perfect, I needed that. Let's take... Let's take a block. I... I really need my defense. Ooh. Oh, perfect. Wow. This card is really useful too. Prevent the next time you take H uh, you lose HP. I love that card. And then just because I don't keep my hand, I'll use I'll use a leap. I don't know. That probably was a stupid decision. I don't know. I need to get rid of one of these guys, though. What? What's that? Why did I take that damage? Oh, I swear, if I lose again... What was that? And of course I have no, I have no fucking block.
Of course, I have no block! You have got to be kidding me! Oh! <laughs> what did I do wrong? I feel like I did everything right! I'm over here bargaining with the universe like there's something I can actually do about this. Oh my god! And you know what? You know what? I probably would have been able to do this if I had been fighting the last boss that I fought when I died the first time. But the cards that I had, if I weren't fighting these guys, if I were fighting the other boss, I probably would have been able to fucking do it. Oh my... Ah. I can't do that again. I can't go through the three spires again. I... Well, we we made it to Act 3. We saw what that was like. The Beyond. I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the last video, and I'm going to make my way to the boss of Act 3. So that way, at the start of the next video... I'm getting better at the game, though. I'm getting really good at understanding what the cards do. I remember, like, the last... The, the first two videos, I was like, Oh! Oh, this is a really good card. Oh, what does this do? But now I kind of have an understanding of what all the cards do, and I, I feel better prepared as the defect. Again, all the characters have different cards, which is crazy, because I'm going to have to learn the Ironclad's cards, I'm going to have to learn the Silence cards, and then once I uh, clear the defect run, I'll unlock this character, and I'll have to learn those cards as well. So it's... Oh... It's definitely something, for sure. I... If you want to see my last video, which was the big update for That's Not My Neighbor, I'll have that linked around here somewhere. And if you want to see my last... Oh my god, I'm so frustrated. If you want to see my last video of Slay the Spire, I'll also have that linked around here somewhere as well. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy and... Big buddy out. Big buddy out. Ah.